How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six here and welcome back to Zero Escape 999. We are about to get out of this area I believe. We just need to climb over these goddamn boxes and then we are moving on. Actually I don't know where the boxes we're climbing over are. Oh, we can just do that now. Cool. Suits me. Coffin. Open. Mommy. Uh. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, really? Whatever. Just open it. Okay, okay. Bad Santa. Bad Santa. A small key and a gun? Yeah. Golden oh. revolver. <laughs> it looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. Looks way too fancy and ornate to be a real one, surely. Look at it. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... Oh. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. We'll probably need it to solve a puzzle later, though. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. It's gotta be the, s the solution to a puzzle. It has to be. Maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? No way. Of course not. We'll take that with us. Rusty key, so we should be able to get out that door with it, right? I would imagine. Up there. Yay! Looks like it opened, Jumpy. I see. This key should open this door. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go. I don't know, what are we waiting for? Yes, it's opening! Can we find the others again? Can this room not lead directly into another puzzle room? I need a break. That's what I like about this game, it gives me breaks from my brain training. <laughs> and the puzzles are getting hard, that one was hard. The F one was hard. We've seen this elevator before. We got off the one on the left just a little this while ago. This is on the E floor, right? Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. It works. No card required. I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to C deck? We haven't accomplished anything. We didn't even get like one of the solar system keys or whatever. No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Can't go back without achieving anything. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right, let's open it. No puzzle. No puzzle. Ah. <laughs> Number nine. nine door. <laughs> Holy crap! We did it. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. You gotta scan your way out. You know that dipshit. Vacant. We finally found it. J Jumpy! Huh? Look! Behind you! What? A nine door. There's another one. Why? It's nine. So that everyone can go. As long as we divvy up our teams properly. The red is yeah? there too. So this is a real one? Why? It, why the hell are there two doors? Because you can only get five people through a single door. <laughs> There were always two doors. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. 
After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. Uh, we fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. If we take their bracelets, the dead people, can we use them to scan them in? Now it makes sense why the bracelets Oh, no, because... Oh. One through nine. That should work, right? Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. The digital root is still nine. There are a bunch of combinations that work, and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital He's root good at maths in his head, wow. The, other one. <laughs> the answer's simple. From the very beginning, the nonary game was designed to save all nine people. That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. <laughs> Can we use the bracelets from the dead people? We need There's to go get them. To kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This no more game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. There was no killing each other, we were good. We were all really good and worked real well together, I think. There had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more. Everything could have been so much worse now. So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. We need to go get the dear people's bracelets. The four of us can't open the number nine door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? I- I don't mind staying. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. Maybe I'll have to Atlanta. <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? Sausage fest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck then. We should sausage party. The elevator we passed earlier. <laughs> Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. But even with all seven of us... Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. How much time have we got? Yeah. Okay. Last I heard we were down to uh, three hours. Come to think of it. What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? It's like a church, with the the those kind of seats. Huh. A what on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey Junpei, the hell are you doing? Let's move. Right. Okay. I'll be right there. There's something on that coffin, like a digital screen or something. Dude, I want to figure it out. Let me solve the puzzle. I know I said I didn't want a puzzle. Now I want a puzzle. <laughs> My god, I bet it's snake. Inside the coffin. Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Where's Clover? Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. <sighs> there were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. 
was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Yeah. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you Thanks. haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate. Not them. this again. That's when people die, when we start looking for people. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. There's no sign of her. Let's go. People die when you're all running around split up, frickin' looking and not getting anywhere. Alright, I'm thinking we should probably split up. I'll head back to the stairs and take the elevator down to E-deck. June, you can take the stairs up to B-deck. Alright, that sounds good. Bad but, idea. Um... What? Could you stop calling me by that code name when we're alone? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, sure, right, I, um, I'll, I'll do that. Um... Shelby. Oh, um, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm going then. Yeah, be careful, Connie. You be careful too, Jumpy. Yeah, got it. Take care. Okay. This is not gonna go well. Separating is always a bad move in a horror movie. Come on. You know what happens. We might not die, but someone's gonna die. Tragedy always strikes when one least expects it. But to wait for a man to stand before striking him down seems almost crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place, June's smile had given him hope both for escape and possibility for something else. It was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that they might soon be fully dashed. Rough. He opened the elevator door and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall. Lotus. Jinpei felt his blood turn to ice. Her body was limp and her skin smooth and pale as always. It was covered in bright red blood. Jinpei felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe and his legs began to shake. A slow cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his stomach somersault. Jinpei's mind went blank. All his thoughts replaced with endless hissing white. Driven by little more than instinct, he began to walk towards Lotus slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. I told you people die when you split up. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and put his hand against her neck. There was no pulse, no rise and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. Something somewhere in Jinpei's shaken mind told him that that meant she'd been killed recently. Yes, Jinpei thought, his mind slowly returning, she'd been killed. Someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. The weapon had been a knife then. Perhaps she'd been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. He took little comfort in knowing that she must have suffered very little. Only then did Jinpei notice. Lotus's bracelet was gone. When they die. Your heart rate reaches zero. So one of the people with us that found the door number nine killed her to grab the bracelet so they could escape. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number eight bracelet? If that was true, then the killer was whoever wanted the number 8 bracelet. Or perhaps more accurately, the person who would gain the most from obtaining bracelet number 8. Who is that? Who would benefit the most from the number 8 bracelet? The thought had only just entered Jumpei's mind when... He heard a noise. A sound like a sharp knife cutting through wet meat. It struck him as strange that the noise came from inside his own body. A moment later, the pain hit him. It wasn't merely pain. It was heat, extreme heat as well. He felt as though molten iron had splashed against the side of his body. Finally, his brain made the connection. He'd been stabbed. But where? His body was quickly going numb. He couldn't tell where the knife had met his flesh. Given the circumstances, however, he'd most likely been stabbed in the back. Whoever had killed Lotus had now done the same to Jinpei as well. His voice was little more than a weak groan. 
With what little strength he had left, Junpei turned his body, trying to catch a glimpse of his attacker. Gross. But as he did, the knife dug in deeper, twisting viciously. He collapsed to the floor, a puppet with its strings cut. His arms and legs lay where they fell, oddly twisted and awkwardly positioned. Junpei's body was entirely numb. He could feel the blood leaking out of him, but nothing would move. Nothing save his eyes. As he lay on the floor, his life ebbing away, Junpei finally saw his attacker. Two tiny images of the killer reflected in his eyes. With that recognition came nothing. He felt no emotions, no anger, no sadness, no regret. The paralysis that claimed his body had reached his mind. His killer glanced down at his body. Then without a word, climbed into the elevator and was gone. His eyesight began to fade. The world grew blurry and began to dissolve into an empty white fog. The fog crept to the edges of his mind and worked inexorably inward. Soon it swallowed up the last that remained of Junpei's mind and his consciousness left him. There was nothing more. Into utter emptiness he fell. Into zero. Whatever Junpei had been was gone. Well, I don't even know what I did wrong to mess that up, but, uh, bad end. I guess we're going to have to try again. <laughs> uh, we're already halfway through this episode. We're going to have to see what happens next. You've reached one ending. This game has multiple endings. In order to experience all the endings, you need to play through the game multiple times. Make sure to save your progress now to retain all information you've acquired. Memory of Escape has been added to the entitled screen. Memory of Escape allows you to replay the escape rooms you've completed. Save. Yos. Access the flowchart or return to the title screen to start from the beginning. Should we go from here? Because this has branching paths. Let's just go from here. The one, six, and two doors. The six door. Okay, yeah. Let's go from here. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? That was not yes, that long ago. Told us earlier. I can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair. Blah -de blah. Hurry it up, Mr. I. Can we really skip this? Yeah, yeah. Quite we heard right. all this. The first Acer. Yes, I know. Next is. Yeah. It's Clover wants one. Uh. Uh, there is no No, there'd be no point to the But Just give it up. It's not like a Yeah, yeah, we done this. So maybe. And then they fight. Oh. Yep. Oh. And then we get to pick, but I thought our pick was arbitrary anyway. Junpei. Uh right. June wants to Yes. So this was a Ace and Clover. Seven and look. Same time. The the door I should Okay, the lap I want to go through. So we picked six last time. So my choice is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready, and I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. What? Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Alright. So we know who's going through door two. It'll be me, Lotus, and Junpei. The only problem's the other two teams. June and I want door six. Clover and I choose door one. That's not good. Well, this is gonna change everything. Can't open yeah? Either of those doors with only two people. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Why don't Santa and June go into door one with Ace? Huh? Well. Then what will you do, Clover? I'll be waiting at the stairs. You guys are coming back here, right? Well, this she. Oh my God, God, this is so different then. We aren't going to be split up permanently until we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. 
And that's how the notary game works. Okay. I'm sorry, but I just want to be by myself for a while. You understand. She went through door one last time. Uh, All right. I'm going through door one. Head all right with you, June? Yes. Well, we'll be going then. Who knew that that was get this choice back here could get me killed? Yeah. Right. Let's go. That means we got new puzzles to solve. For a while, but Son of a bitch. <laughs> this was my choice. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Seven said we'd all see each other again, and I'm going to believe that. The other group went to A deck to go through door one. Clover joined them. Our group is on our way too. We're heading to the bottom deck using the elevators. I wonder what we'll find down there. Who knows? We were so close to getting out though. We'd found door nine okay. and then we died. Yeah, Bullshit. Anytime. I'll go first. Not the nicest people Let's to be go. with, but at least they're competent, I guess. Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It stopped. Oh, yeah, it stopped. <sighs> Man, I'll never get used to that. Just hope you don't have to. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. I remember you saying that. <laughs> Damn right. All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. But it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're gonna get anywhere that way. Alright, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. You okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. Here we go. Time for another goddamn puzzle. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, that's a pretty simple looking... Uh, there's a lot of rooms though. What is that? What the hell is this supposed to be? Like a drone of a whirlpool or something? If I had to guess, I'd say it's trying to look like water. There's a little tile in the drain. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull it out of there. Might have to use our heads on this one. Let's figure this thing out. So the water doesn't work. Doesn't matter how much seven turns that thing, no water's coming out. Has the water been shut off from somewhere else? There's plenty of water in one of the other decks, remember? It's loaded with water. <laughs> a symbol on the toilet litter. Seems a little fishy to me. It's a sun symbol, but it doesn't look like the ones on the doors. Sun symbol, yeah. A toilet paper tube, eh? Seriously, Dad, I'm gonna need anything, need this for anything. Oh, we took it though. You never know. This handle's pretty loose. Loose? You think it'll come off if you pull on it? It fell off. Huh. Look at this. That handle doesn't really fit on the string. Maybe it wasn't meant to be attached to it. Oh, we didn't take the toilet roll. Man, this is a mess. It's not even a bed anymore. Can't say I'd want to sleep there. It's a dirty blanket on the bed. We can't move that either. Oh, hello. Drawers. I love drawers. What the hell? It's not opening. There's something up with this drawer. I don't trust it. There's a pair of screws on the desk right on top of the drawer. Doesn't matter how old this thing is. We're gonna have a tough time if we just try to break it open. Probably gonna be a pain, but I think we need to figure out a way to get those screws off. So this handle's probably the top of a screwdriver then. I would imagine. Alright, let's go see another room. Is this Lotus's room? Somebody made some wavy blue lines on the mirror with blue paint. Is that a drawing of a blue scarf? No, maybe not. This drain kind of looks like a weird shape for a drain. You think they made the shape for a reason or just for fun? There's no knob on this faucet. There's no way we can get the water out of it like this. If we can find a knob or something that'll work like this one. 
And we should be able to get the wood to come out of this thing. Like this handle? No? You can make anything work, if you try hard enough. Moon! What a filthy, disgusting moon. Yes, it's pretty filthy, but it's a precious hint. Let's remember it, alright? It's just hanging from the wall. Well, if we're pulling the string, then it must be a toilet that flushes. Paper seems pretty old. How the hell can you touch that? It's it's horrible. Not like I've really got a choice, do I? It's not like I want to die. A towel. Looks like a towel. I have to wonder if the design means anything, though. Maybe we should consider what the design might be. Perhaps it'll give us a hint. It's the thing on the mirror on the other wall and the thing on the mirror on this one mixed together. The bed looks cold. Pretty sure you'd freeze to death in the winter. No kidding. If I tried to sleep here, my skin would dry out in no time. It's like you're that young anymore. That shouldn't really matter. My, my, Junpei. Aren't you lucky? It seems you'll die before you have a chance to grow old and hideous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Dry skin is a woman's worst enemy. God, he's such an asshole. <laughs> what have we got here? Not that she doesn't deserve it. There's nothing in the drawer. Yeah, something's not right though. It's got a faucet on it? Yeah. The handle doesn't really fit, you know, it just looks messy. Why don't you take it out? We still need the screwdriver for that bit though. The mirror on the other side, it's kind of an odd shape. Looks like someone attached the handle with a screw after the fact. Still need a goddamn screwdriver. It's like a chair for prisoners, it's rusty. Don't think it's gonna be a lot of help. Isn't that obvious? Look, I don't want to touch anything unless I have to. Lotus is not having this. Does she really not want to be in this room that bad? This looks just like a part of the design of the towel. You think that means anything? On the towel it looks like the water is flowing from the river to the spring. You think that means we need to make water flow from here? And flow from here into the room next door. And that'll do something with the tile, but we need to find a way to make that screwdriver work first. Not a great one, but still, looks like this room's not part of it. It's a sink, but there's no light shining on it. It's hard to be sure because it's so dark in here, but I don't think anything's going on with the sink. The force is too hard to turn. What's the deal with the lighting here? There's just this one beam of light. The rest of the place is too dark. I can't see anything. There's no way we can explore the rest of the room. Alright. What about the... Wait. God damn it, no matter how hard I pull on this damn thing, it won't budge. I guess I won't be opening this anytime soon. It doesn't look like it's got a keyhole. There doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. How the hell am I supposed to open it? I don't know. There are a bunch of tiles on the door that spell out emergency. Sort of. Emergency, maybe it needs... Means we need to emerge out of here? Maybe. I just want the freaking screwdriver that we need. God. Seriously, where the hell are we going to find a screwdriver? The chair's pretty old. If seven sat in it, it'd probably break. Huh? You say something? Nothing at all. Now you're talking about how you're a fat cunt. I mean, <laughs> that was rough. Um, can we try this. Fair screws holding the drum. Okay. How the hell are we going to find this screwdriver? Is, it, is there something here that I'm missing? Hang on, let's check our items. Let's search this. There's a hole in the end of it, isn't there? I mean, it probably goes, something goes in it, wouldn't you say? On the inside of this hole, you see, it's threaded. Like you're supposed to screw something into it. No. Nope. There's a mirror in the back of the drawer and the handle is weird. Looks like the handle was attached with a screw. Yeah. I just need a goddamn screwdriver, fool. Well, something to screw into that handle that I can use as a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. 
Not having much luck in that regard, though. Oh wait, hang on. Let's have a look at the back of this hole. Well, we took the drawer, but nothing happened. Of course, there's no way you could hide a puzzle in something that small. Yeah, I know, still. Hmm. Seems like they might try to... What's this? It looks like there's something... Huh? It looks like there's something in there. I knew it! Doesn't matter what angle I got it from, I can't see anything in there. What? He just said there's something in there. That's the screwdriver! This part's thinner than the rest. In fact, it doesn't look like it's part of the rest of this thing. This rod feels loose. Maybe if I give it a couple of turns. Here we go. Well, that combines with that. So if I just stick the metal rod into the handle... Boom! Screwdriver, son! And then if we combine that with that... Then we gotta force it! Yes! Dude! Dude, that just fixed everything! Thank God for that. All right, force it on wrong, wrong side. Let's go over here. Screwdriver, please. Man, we gotta wrap this episode up. But uh, got the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. There's nothing in here. Maybe the drawer is what we need. The drawer, huh? <gasps> we put this drawer on the other one. Let's yank this thing out. Desk drawer. Okay, and then we put the handle drawer into this one. Yeah? Desk drawer. It sounded like something falling. What was that? I heard it too. Let's open the drawer. It's the tile. Yes! Dude, we're getting somewhere. Now we got the faucet for this. Sweet, the handle I got off that drawer fits onto the faucet perfectly. Now I can turn the water on. What are you doing? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm running the water. I can see that. I'm asking you why you're just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. This faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. Any time now. Hey, water's filling up. Doesn't that just mean the pipes are clogged? Whoops, let's turn it off for now. So did anything change? Water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. Uh, Jinpei, I'm leaving this one to you, alright? Other, other door. Tile. Right, we got two of the tiles. Now what? What the? Ooh. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay, man? <clears throat> You're sweating like crazy. Are you alright? <sighs> No, clearly not. Yeah, I'm fine. Just got a little dizzy, that's all. That's definitely more than just a little dizzy. Are you sure? <laughs> you don't look so good. He's big, man. The blood takes ages to get to his brain. <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, that's, that's not what I mean. It ain't much, but I think some of my memories came back. I, oh yeah. I I think I've been here before. Uh, uh. Huh? I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Why? Oh, what? My Nona. Okay, okay, no, no. We're about to get a whole lot of exposition, but we're wrapping this episode up here. Sorry, we're gonna blue balls you again. In the next one, we'll find out what Seven remembers. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.